giggity 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 goo. What's up, YouTube? Uh, I just woke up, so that giggity was a little uh tiring or whatever tiring. Oh, I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna go to East Lad on this one, but I like to bring out all my East Lad shit. Those are East Lad items. We don't need those. We got a stack of resources of every kind. We got our Mara pots. We don't need our HP ones. So we can just kind of store those away. We don't need attack potions. Not out here. We could use movement speed, but fuck it. We don't need it. Pet XP, we'll keep those. We'll keep the pet revives for God knows why. Maybe fucking. I'll go. I know. I don't even think. I don't think I can die in East Lad. <sighs> so, drop rate scrolls we definitely want. XP scrolls we don't need. Oh, uh, I always like to carry them just in case I see somebody out there that I can level. Uh, that I can drop them an XP scroll. So, we definitely want those. We don't need those shards. We don't need any of this. Don't need any of this. Definitely need our mushrooms. And we got our mats. Cool. We'll definitely use that. Alright, so now we go through our tabs. See if we can pull anything that we know we can use. Those we're going to be using. Those we're definitely going to be using. Uh, I know I need to organize this thing. <laughs> I organize it up every once in a while. That's a reminder. I need to get Hawkeye Scrolls. These can combine with those. I don't know why I have these half stacks in here. We're about to have a full stack anyway. Those are all full stacks. Alright, I wanted to take all this with me actually. If you can see, they're mostly clean on the grade 12, uh, 11s. Uh, and the grade 10s, we got a couple cool ones. Uh, this one, if we get physical skill attack, it's a perfect. Just like this one. This one's a perfect band. The safety rate on this is 5555, five, five, five. so I'm just going to get 20 Ceph Choice Gems, or a bunch of Ceph Gems at first, and just get that to 5555, five, because five, five. at that point it'll be worth 250 to 300 million, right there, because it's got the four perfect stats. Attack success rate, drop rate, defense against magic, physical skill attack. You won't have to remove that band for anything. It's just better and better. You get it to 5555, five, 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 get a Reforger like anybody he reforges to bring it to 6666 six, six, six. and then from there you just drop a uh, supreme cephs on it until it gets to 8888 or 7777 or 8777 you know you wait until that drop a super fuckload of supreme cephs on all of your jewelry at that point because if you've got a full set of jewelry like this it's relevant like an 85 i'd rather have one of these at a 7666 Fuck 8.5 or 8.6. I don't care. I mean, you're getting one extra point. Fuck that. I'd rather get the drop rate, defense against magic, the physical skill, the attacks, like everything. It's so much better. So, yeah. If you know my gear, you know that's, that's what I use. Uh, just double checking, making sure I'm not leaving anything behind. 9,000. Yeah, I guess we are leaving something behind here. Uh, tech success rate, dexterity, that's, I don't even know why that's in there. Alright, so sort the inventory. We'll go straight down here to our gemstone. We got two 10k stacks there. One 10k stack there. And eventually we're going to open like a resource place. With all my 10k stacks. But till then, what's nice is if you really want to like just stack up certain things, like if you stacked up a whole shitload of resources uh, and you filled up a storage, like literally you could fill your inventory from this block to that block. That's one lo complete market. So then you grab your character, even if you've already got to mark it up. Like I've always have this guy up on my other screen. Uh, I just set her down, pulled her 400 or 500 mil off from last night. Uh, and then she's already back up to 9.6 mil. But uh, this is my TC Mart that everybody knows about. Last night I set it up all sloppy light. Um, it's at the one of the lowest points it's been at. I'm letting it run out a little bit, getting rid of most of our 
slow moving uh, scrolls because realistically it's the end of the season uh, pretty much all of these uh, and everything about my high selling scrolls my V3, my V2, my drop scrolls, my XP, my pet XP uh, those they're probably going to sell the rest of them I'm going to be throwing onto my storage and try server and it's, no, it's going to take forever to get rid of but I'll poss possibly do the same thing over in try server uh, over time Anyways, let's throw that aside. Make sure we got everything we need. I'm sure we do. Alright, we're going to head over to East Lad. And we're going to go kill some gargoyles. Now, I do want to say, with your money being out, I don't think I've seen an actual black mage yet. I kind of want to make one just to trip out the whole game, but if you ever, if you do come across a black mage, it's literally just a blue mage looking guy with a red staff on, called a prophecy staff, and he'll hit you with something really weak, and you're not going to take much damage, and then you're just going to be like, you might even charge up to him thinking like, oh wow, this guy sucks, maybe I'll go attack him. If you look at your inventory, your money's going away. He takes 1% of your money with every hit. So if he hits you with an Ice Flower, and he's got full Dexterity and Vitality, which means you won't be able to kill him, but he attacks really fast with some shitty attack. So then all of a sudden he's going like 4 attacks a second, 4% of your gold, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, it's technically 3.7% of your gold or something at that rate, because it's taking a new percentage every time it takes one out. It, that 1% means for less. Uh, but yeah. Diminishing returns. Vilox supply unit, and then we're going to take her. If you haven't, if you haven't accessed her yet, him, her, whatever it is, uh, just go do the quest. She she has a little. He has a little quest for you. Go over to Cliff of Despair. You know what I mean. Then we're just going to go right over here and fight ourselves some gargoyles, men. What's nice about bringing this stuff with us, and let me just organize this real quick. Uh, this is a divine away from awesome. That's a blank. Basically blank. Is everything we're going to get here is something that we can use to craft all this crap. I'm going to keep that over there because that requires divines now. Like, we can completely craft all of this jewelry while we're out here. But we're also making a ton of other money. And anything that breaks, we make more money off of. It's ridiculous. Basically, we, make, we, we get money off of every little bit of this. Everything in East Lad gives you money. And it's all stackable, too, which is great. Because these are worth a lot of money. They're worth $2 million a piece. Actually, yeah, right now they're worth about $1.98 million each. Because uh, Seth Choice Bag self decently at 39 million uh, and 15 of these equal a Steph choice bag so right now they're worth about 1.98 mil each uh, and of course these all have their different sale rates because they're worth so many for each green so many greens for each so I'm going to put our potions over here that one I can't wait to drop a divine on that you never know what it's gonna be because if it is a perfect one I'm gonna put it to four 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 and then sell it for 200 mil same price because someone's gonna need to have that reforged to six and have to use subs for it you only want to get it to the safe point but if it's got all four pieces on it you can still ask that premium and people might say oh well no one's gonna pay the premium unless it's a G G11 G11 is 200 plus. What if your character is not 200 plus? That would be insane for 200 character. Or, uh, no, sorry, a 160 character to be wearing. And some 160, some people like to stay 160 and farm with our 160 character. In which case, the drop rate is nice. But, anyways, and especially with that, farmers do have the extra money to buy shit like that and reforge it up and shit. Alright. <sighs> Another divine, another divine, another basic clean. I think we're building this one. Yeah, drop rate, defense against magic, 
Okay, so that one's a finished one we're building. Pet XP. Now that I see it, let me drop it. Alright, dodge rate defense. We're hoping for defense against magic on that one. That'll be a three statter. We can ask a few mil for it. Bring it up to four, four, four. You know. Uh, Seth, we can keep that up there. I don't know why we brought those. Shit. That's going to cause us some issues later. I'm just going to sort it all up here. You can skip to the point where I actually start killing if you'd like. <laughs> Alright, we're going to switch that over to there. I think we're good. And we got all of our potions. Return scrolls down here. XP scrolls, I don't need it. Or drop scrolls, I do need. Alright, so take a drop scroll. There we go. And get buffed, even though we don't need it. Just for fun. I actually kind of wanted to test this uh, Wide Fury skill against uh, these guys, like a ton of them. Uh-oh. Let that PvP on, boys. Somebody's out here taking my spot. Unless we're lagging. Hey, look, TC Mart's up to 41 mil. I wonder what I just sold. Here they are. Here he is. This could be somebody that watches my videos, though. Where's he at? He was going this way. Alright, he would have taken the Jersey Devil if he went that way. He might have gone this way. I'm start I'm still seeing clean fields, man. Where did this bitch go? Alright, we got Megas here. So she didn't go that far. She must have gone up this way. <coughs> so she probably went all the way around. Up this way. And killed it right there. And now she's probably waiting right up here. Or looting. Yeah, looting. Uh, it's my ally. Damn it. Alright. It looks like we're going to have to go with the Megas. Because I don't really want to waste all those scrolls. Plus I really wanted to see what that thing does. So we might just grab a single group of Megas and then go back to the other server. Ooh. I knew I saw her get hungry right after I hit the mushroom. We're just going to gather these up now. The, the, the only thing about these guys is the... Uh, the bones, they do jump a little bit. So, like, even if you were running, like, as you're seeing here, I'm just running. Yet, I'm still being hit every once in a while. Uh, if you have crappy gear, that's going to matter. You're going to get hit. That's going to suck. <laughs> and, yeah, I, these guys pissed me off. When I, like, I had shit gear when I first got here. If I remember correctly, I was wearing, like, Ultima plus five. Or maybe even worse than that. I don't remember. It was pretty bad. But uh, I kept getting the shit kicked out of me by these stupid fucking bones. Uh, so I couldn't really farm it. And I was farming it as much as I could. I would go through so many potions just to keep the going with this place. Because I was watching the drops and I'm like, man, these are almost as good as the gargoyles. And I'm getting XP here and there. So I was like, I can't leave. I have to deal with this. <laughs> so... I dealt with it for a while, and these guys aren't terrible, uh, as long as you grab the whole spawn, and then, uh, wait for the next whole spawn, otherwise it's not as good as Bones, uh, but Bones is still, or not Bones, um, Gargoyles is still better, just because you can grab so many more 
so much easier. It's just that one patch that you're gathering. And you don't have to go up this whole fucking beach. But these guys drop more G10s on average. Uh, like the jewelry you're getting are more closer to these instead of the crappy G8s and G7s. Looks like we're going to start lagging in a second here. So I'm going to grab these and stop. And at the moment, we actually have quite a bit. This is more than just the gargoyles. Especially if I grab this guy here and loop it right next to those. Grab another, like, seven. And then we'll just sit this bitch right here. And try to loot this as quick as possible. That's what I love about this spot. Is everything is small. You're not getting armors. You're not getting weapons. You're not getting anything but resources and stackables and gems and jewelry. Like, it's perfect loot. You can just keep going. Going like an energizer battery. Non-stop. Just, you just stay here until you completely fill up with sellable awesome. Alright, drop that bitch. It's G9. I don't really feel like working with G9s right now. We got tons of jewelry to fuck with right now. There's no reason to craft anything. That needs a divine. Terrible. That needs a divine. No, that needs a full craft. Why am I have it there? This needs a divine. And another divine. Ooh, defense. Defense against magic. Dodge right. We got it. That's another crafter right there. <sighs> Come on. Give me that physical skull attack, baby. Yes! Haha. -ha. That's a perfect right there. Physical skull attack. Defense against magic. Drop rate. Attack success rate. Perfect. We had that reforged up to a 6666. Six, 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 then... Supreme Seth that to 777. Seven, seven. Oh, you will love yourself. Alright. You're going to love my nuts. I guarantee it. Alright. Drop rate defense against magic. Vitality. Ooh. We need physical skill attack or magic attack at that point. Because we don't have attack success rate. We can hope for either one. Uh, let's just drop this on a clean one. Since that one was sitting there, let's drop it on that. We didn't get shit. And then we can pull our perfect out of here. Drop all the Ceph gems into it. We'll bring this up to a five, 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 five real quick. <sighs> Man, that was quick. First pull, we were able to do all that. That was nice. We got ourselves a nice one. We pulled that to a perfect one. And we got a ni another nice one. Actually, no, this one's a eh one. But still. No, that was a three statter. Cool. We got two three statters. I love defense, defense against magic, and dodge rate. Health recovery is actually not terrible if you get it to six and you just have all of your rings with six health recovery. It gives you a little bit of. It's like taking a potion every couple of. Like every. 45 seconds or 30 seconds no I think it's actually like taking a potion every like five seconds so it's almost like you're walking around just flash flash and that's just from having your jewelry on it's gonna gather up all these guys here <sighs> got a few more here for divining uh, doesn't mean we're going to stop collecting divines, because divining does take a lot of divines. But every sorcery, magic gem, things like that, we're just going to throw right into these and get them into this pile, hopefully. Uh, and then we're going to divine those out into either the ground or up here. And then we get them from up here to over here, fully statted. Uh, 
and then of course if we wanted to we could uh, have them reforged and sell them or what I like to do is I just sell them at the pre reforged price uh, and then they some whoever gets them uses them like that for a little bit and then they go to a reforger and pay for the upgrade and then they supreme ceph it from there but that's what I did and it was more than worth it I can't tell you how awesome it is to have drop rate on your PvP set. So basically, you don't have a PvP set. You just have a PvE slash PvP set that you just wear all the time that works for every situation. It's got drop rate. It's got defense. It's got dodge. I mean, everything I need for it. <laughs> and then for the physical skill one, if it has attack success rate, defense against magic, I mean, those look cooler than my bracelets. My extra one is dexterity. Well, that one gets phys uh, attack success rate. But on a mage is one, you don't need attack success rate, but uh, having uh, dexterity gives you a little bit faster on the skills, and vitality gives you a little bit more health. It really doesn't make much difference with that. Alright, this looks like a good time to stop. Let's buff up first, get our lucky buffs going. We want to pick up a couple perfects here. And plus we want to test out this skill. Alright. 12,000, that wasn't bad. Nice little 12,000 damage to everything. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> we don't want to grab any blanks. What we want to keep is stuff that we want to just craft right away. Don't want that. Dodge it. Nah, hell no. Nah. Not even going to look at it. Well. Uh, if it gets drop rate. Oh, I don't want to work out that anymore. <laughs> ah, fuck. It's G9. I hate G9s, but I'll keep it just to get it to 444 if it gets it. Alright. Uh, oh, I don't know why I just did that. Texas S rate 6. <laughs> that was stupid. That could have just killed it right there. Uh, that was dumb. At least we got a six on there now. <laughs> Alright. Let's not do it. Do it that one. Alright. I'll just toss these over here. Attack success rate. Gross. String. Vitality. Ooh. That's even grosser. Alright. Let's give another one. <sighs> Come on. Drop rate. We're going to work on these first. <laughs> Apparently. Ugh. Alright, bring this one. Let's see what we got. Health recovery. Fuck. These are some dumb stats, man. Ugh. That's another crappy one. Let's start from the bottom. Now we're here. Lenny drop rate. Are you kidding me? 
Thank you. Get rid of that bitch. Alright. Now let's go back again and do some more crafting. <laughs> it's like we just round up a bunch of creatures and then we get to craft it all. I was like, are we crafting or are we killing? We're doing both, boys. We're just getting everything we need to craft for a little bit on one pile of creatures. And then we go sit and craft for a little bit. And then we go get some more. And then we go craft a little bit. <laughs> As you can see, we literally just kind of do the same thing as we do over there at the gargoyles. Uh, this is a lot more damage, a hell of a lot more. Uh, so if you have crappy gear, again, just be careful. Uh, considering over there, you can actually do it without taking a single point of damage. Over here, you're going to be hit with the bones constantly. So you have to do have to weigh that out. If you do take damage, you might want to stay with the gargoyles and just switch servers. Unless you're here for XP. In which case is exactly how you want to do it. Except instead of stopping and killing, you want to kite it and drop an AoE, an area of effect skill, whatever your class happens to be. Uh, run forward, drop another area of effect skill. Run forward, drop another area of effect skill until you hear everything drop. Uh, and then you finish off the pile and then you loot it all. Make it as dangerous, as little, as least dangerous possible. Just like you wouldn't want to gather this many. For two reasons. Number one, there's a lot of bones hitting me. Number two, if you're noticing it's getting a little choppy now, uh, lag kills. Uh, you won't see yourself take a hit. You won't take that potion right then. And then you'll see yourself take a hit in a second. And you'll take a potion then, but it's too late because now that hit registered when you were at like 20% health. And you didn't notice that you were at 20% health. Alright, let's kill this pack. It's hitting too laggy. Let me get another giant loot pile to go through. It uh, It is pretty nice to have 300% drop rate. It's not the top. You I mean you can get almost a 400% drop rate if I had full demonic. I put my demonic thing on my gear instead of my weapon and I'll get another 10% drop rate. Uh, if I had like full 8 drop rate jewels and I mean and subscription <laughs> I could get myself up to about 400% drop rate. But I don't have it, most of that, so eventually, uh, next season, I'm probably gonna get to subscribe. All right, I'm not working with that, that, or that, or that, or that. I'm not even gonna look at them. Fuck them. I hate those things. These things break so easily. I'll drop all that on the ground. We'll finish this off real quick. Bring that to a five. Bring that to a four. Now a five. Drop that in there. And drop that in there. As long as we don't get a four. As soon as we get a four, we have to stop dropping steps on that. Uh, we don't need that. We don't need that. We can divine that. Physical attack. Oof, oof. This needs attack success rate, and it's going to be awesome. Ah, oh, come on, man. That was not fucking cool. That just took it all away. Oh, now we get a tech success rate. Physical skill attack. Physical attack, come on. Ah. Oh. Physical physical attack isn't too bad. If I can get, I'm probably going to set choice that. If that gets to 7 physical skill attack, I'll bring it to a 755 five and sell it. I think I'm going to still craft that one. 
Magic attack, defense against magic. Oof. I need another vine for that one. <sighs> Hopefully it doesn't take away defense against magic. I might step choice the vitality up. Like I should have done with this fucker. I should have brought... No. I would have brought drop radar. Ah. Uh. I probably couldn't help that one. But if you Seth choice something, you could, like I could Seth choice that and put Vitality level 2. It'll bring Vitality down. Uh, and that way when I Divine it, the worst case scenario is going to take Vitality off. It'll take one stat. Uh, and that stat will definitely be Vitality. You've set it to be Vitality. Uh, you can do that with multiple things. Like let's say you had Vitality, Strength, Defense Against Magic. Uh, bring Vitality up. Divine it, it gets rid of vitality. Cool. Uh, then bring strength up, divine it, it gives you magic attack. Divine it again, uh, bring strength up, it give, takes away strength. You never know. Like sometimes they take away stats a lot. If you're really trying for perfects. Of course, I recommend if you're using Seth Choice on something to craft it finish breaking it don't drop it on the ground like drop your if you if, even if it didn't make the craft just drop five more Seth choice in it to get bring it up to six vitality drop another one in it break it going to seven get your Seth shards for it so you get your money back that way you're not wasting the Seth choice uh like if i were to put a Seth choice on that bring vitality up drop a thing on it uh and it doesn't give me shit i'm still gonna finish that bracelet if it didn't have defense against magic on it I still would finish the bracelet and uh, break it with Seth Choice gems. And then I would get a Seth shard for every Seth Choice I use. So I get my money back exactly because they're worth the exact same. Rather than, oh, I didn't get it, throw it on the ground. You just wasted a Seth Choice. Hell, you could have wasted two Seth Choice. So what if you did it twice? And we got more to pick up. Looks like we got a stack of metal there. Always nice to see new stacks. I'm going to head towards the uh, gargoyles and see if he's still there. So let's head that way while we craft. Alright. I'm not even going to bother with that one. Uh, I'm going to keep that in that pile. Alright. Dodge right, ew. Alright, so we'll keep it. Defense, dodge rate, don't want it. Hell no, don't want that. Don't want it. Got two, cool. Alright. We didn't get any set choice there, so we didn't get to finish off our bracelet. But it looks like we might actually have this spot back. It doesn't look like he's here anymore. I'm just going to give ourselves some attack, some run speed here. Run a little quicker. We should have brought the movement speed scrolls. I forgot these guys can keep up with me. I could have just like zoomed through all this. And since we're here for drops and not XP... This place is far better. There's just so many in one spot. Like, this spot right here is the reason why gargoyles are one of the best money in game. It's just because I'm not taking any damage. Now, yeah, you're seeing me get hit. That's because there's a couple bones left in my pile here, I think. Yeah, there's one. Uh, but nothing else is hitting me. And I'm not shooting. I'm not slowing myself down in any way. I'm not firing at these things. I don't require a ranged class. You can do this with any class with any gear it does not matter you could do this with nothing on if you're good enough 
Once it gets laggy, I stop. Now, I have gear that's willing, that's able to take this easily. Plus, I'm level 254, so I stop and kill. Uh, if you were higher, if you were low level or you had crappy gear, you would obviously not stop. There we go. <sighs> Finish this one off. Five, five, four. Drop one in there. Didn't break it yet. Come on, don't break. We got a four, so we got to stop working on that one. Let's divine this. Oops. Lenny drop rate. I was hoping for regular drop rate, man. Let's craft it anyway. And we gotta finish crafting that one. Defense against magic. Let's divine it. Physical skill attack, defense against magic. Ooh! Never know. I don't know what that is. What was that? Drop rate? Def no. These are not worth crafting. If you're thinking about crafting it, don't. But, physical skill attack, attack success rate, and drop rate. No defense against magic, but this is for like a low level character. <sighs> Sometimes I like to bring these to threes and low level island guys buy them, but yeah. Uh, I guess I'll craft on that one too. Since it is almost a perfect stat, if that gets a drop rate on it, it'll be my necklace, basically like the exact same thing, except for a lower level character. We'd bring it up to like, we would probably attempt for like a four three three three, just because grade nine they like to break a lot. Um, and then we'll sell it to somebody who wants to reforge it to a six 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 five, and then he'll drop a uh, supreme staffs on it from after that. And these things, again, are really nice for uh, low-level island farmers. Uh, they won't have a nice jewelry selection, but if somebody's already crafted them a perfect necklace that's a 3-3-3-3, and they can go reforge that. And, of course, I'm going to have to sell the 3-3-3-3 three, 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 three for, like, 35 mil. It's not going to be a lot. Uh, maybe 50 mil. But because it's perfect stat, it will sell eventually, and the guy's going to go grab it to reforge it. Because a lot of times it takes forever to get the perfect stats on something like this. And this, it's really hard to grab. To get the four attack success rate, drop rate, defense against magic, physical skill attack. It's a bitch. Alright, I think this is good because it's starting to get a little laggy again. Nice, neat little pile. Almost instant loot because it's so close together. Ah, there we go. finish this one off all right that one's all good to go and we're gonna finish this one off five I don't know why I went to five with that this that was dangerous I could have broken it four is safe with tens three is safe with nines But now we got a five four 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 or five four four four. So that'll sell nice. And we can continue crafting all these. Ooh, physical skill defense. Oh yeah, that's nice. 
vitality that's not as nice but you never know since it's on the bottom we could take the vitality out and still get a perfect here Oof, that one's gross attack success rate magic attack Ugh, not so good not so good alright let's try this one drop rate vitality uh, it's not good at all well now we're done with the sorcery magic gem crafting I don't think we need any for these. We need some for those down there, but whatever. Yeah. Ooh. That's almost a nice one right there. If we get dodge on that, that'd be a nice PvP ring. Physical skill, magic attack, defense against magic. Well, that needs drop rate, and it'll be good for one of them. That's what's nice about that is since bracelets for magic attack don't need the next one, so if I were to get a uh, drop rate, it's a perfect magic uh, bra bracelet. Fuck physical skill attack, we don't really care. Uh, if I were to get uh, attack success rate, it'd be a good PvP. Huh. Uh, good PvP bracelet for either class. Uh, and if I get drop rate, it'll be a good farming bracelet for the physical skill attack. Or for the defense against magic, really. I can bring either one up. Or I could bring them all up and I have access to both customers. People who need that one or people who need the other one. Yeah, this is good enough. Let's drop this. All right. Nope. Dodge rate defense. No. Physical skill attack drop rate. <sighs> I guess. Nope. Nope. That one. Ooh. Might be gay. Never know. And I think that was all of my sorceries. Yeah. So we can now start dropping this, 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 this. Cool. Alright. No. That's it right there. We'll finish this one off. Three and four. Another finished product. Both of those will be sellables. <sighs> oh blah 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 we'll keep it over here. Physical attack. Gross. Don't want that. Got a hundred of those. Ooh, what was that? No. We got a hundred of these, so as soon as we get an oh there we are. We do have more. Cool. I was gonna say as soon as we get another yellow one, we'll stack it up there. ton more divines. All this needs divined. And then it might go away. It might have a couple more craftables. And then we'll keep crafting on these until we get a full set. We need this crafted. We need this crafted. These three crafted. We, got a lot to, we need a lot of step choice. But the nice thing is at the end of this, we can finish these all off with the step choice that we're going to get from the orbs as well. If we don't want to farm out here for that long. Alright, good time to stop. Oh, 
Alright. Hasn't gotten a five yet, so we're still safe. Physical attack, attack success rate, drop, nope, 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 nope. That one's our, we're not going to use this yet. You want to make these as cheap as possible. Uh, the way I do that is I use Ceph gems until it gets to one of them at to their safe max, like their maximum save point, and then I Ceph choice it until the rest of the way. Sometimes I'll make like a four 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 four, uh, then a five five four four, or no, like a five four four four, for this, and then step choice at the way up, and it really didn't cost me much shit to make. Same with this. I, if I bring it up to like a three 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 four, with step gems, and then a four 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 with step choice gems, it literally cost me like two mil to make. <laughs> And I'm going to sell it for far more than that since it is four perfect stats. You can ask for that premium. Or you can go to enemy and have it reforged up to a 6666 and sell it for 400 million. Or sell it for 150 mil or something like that. Or 80 or 90 mil. And then they're going to reforge it for another 250 mil to get it to worth, to be worth 400 and some mil. Still going to cost a bit to have enemy reforge it up to a 6666. But still. It's again why I like to get one of them up to six when I do these. On the Delph, I one of these up to five, so at least it's a little less pricey. Because it's going to be expensive to bring those back up to six, 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 six through reforging. Now, if you're a reforger, it's cheap as hell. Just takes a little bit of time. Uh, but if you're paying a reforger, it's going to cost you. But it's worth it. I mean, you're going to spend way more trying to get your own. You're never going to make that. Not with Ceph Choice Gems alone. Like, that's that would take you so many fucking perfect bracelets to break just to get to a 7766, let alone a 7777 eventually. So again, that's the best to re reforge it to a 6666 and Supreme Ceph it from there. One annoying thing about carrying this many things with you when you're craft when you're going out here is your inventory does tend to fill up kinda. <laughs> Alright, let's That can survive a couple more Ceph gems probably. Four three four five. There we finally got a five. Let's drop one more. If we had one, we would drop one more just for the gamble. But we don't. So let's bring everything up to five. Now this one's literally only defense against magic, uh, defense against magic and magic attack. So that one's already finished. Uh, we might bring it up to magic attack six. There we go, and it worked. So it's a six-five bracelet now. All right, let's try this one here. Physical skill attack, defense against magic. Again, we're gonna to find that which we don't have right now attack success rate drop rate if we get physical skill attack on it yeah it still won't have physical attack on it <sighs> not crafting any of those not crafting any of those none of those all right if that gets physical attack on it I'll be all right nope nope don't want those. Don't want that. Don't want that. Defense against magic attack accessory drop rate. If I had physical skill attack, maybe I would do it, but I don't. And we'll keep those. I'm just going to grab a whole lot more creatures and do it again. 
Hopefully this time they give us a little less jewelry so I don't fill up so freaking quick. Maybe we'll move these aside. And those still need uh, sorcery, divine, sorcery magic gems on them, so I'll probably pop them on the next pack. Alright, this looks like a big enough pack. on that one right there magic attack are you kidding me you're a dick well does have physical skill attack let's break it Technically, since it's a band, it's still make a sick good night six five. So let's try them for six. One stat at a time, so we're not wasting anything. Yep, we wasted nothing. Cool. All right, we'll drop that. We'll drop these three. Ooh, physical skill attack, attack success rate, drop rate. Ugh. Oh, that's one we made earlier. We're going to try for physical skill attack. Some crazy number there. Good. Uh, drop that on there. What did we get? Crappy. That's what we got. Magical skull attack, physical attack, oh, that's disgusting. And we can drop all that. And we got another stack of herb, and another stack of leather, nice. And those are our three finished pieces so far. Probably work on that one next. Well, this one's just about done, so let's do this one. But we'll Ceph gem the yes. All right. So this will be a 5 4, four. Not bad. Just got to get a few more Seth Choice Gems to finish that one off. Up here, this looks like a good spot. Starting to get a little laggy. We've got a set choice we need for finishing off that one piece, and we got a few set gems to start dropping in the next ring. 
And we got a couple divines there. That's nice. We got a few divines. I like that. We definitely need divines. We can drop all that. Nah, we don't want that. Definitely don't want that. We're good with that. Alright, let's start divining. Physical skill, defense against magic, vitality. Come on! Dexterity. Well, still worth crafting, it's just not as awesome. Dodge, gross. These are gonna fuck up because there are a lot of shitty ones. That one might not. If I get something on it. Uh, these look like all shitty. Like, they're all gonna fuck up. <laughs> but, still gotta divine them and see what happens. Alright, let's finish this off. That's not it. Let's drop all these on that one. And then let's finish this one off. And we'll move that over. Now we got four finished pieces. <sighs> Bring that down. We got two, two, two. Nice. Make this nice and cheap with Ceph gems. And we've got 150 of these, 69 of these, 21 of these. Like these will definitely equal up to like a pouch and a half. Uh, then I got five of these, which will help with the almost the other second half of that pouch. Plus we've got four crafted pieces. Uh, these two we brought in. Uh, I may have brought these two in. I'm not sure. Ooh, nice. Magic attack, defense against magic, drop rate. That right there is a perfect one. Uh, vitality's not bad. Oh, we got another divine. Which one's gonna be next? Magic attack, drop rate. Ah, uh, you're a dick. Try and one shot him with my trance skills, see what happens. Ooh, 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 wait a minute. Hell no, nah, man. Not here. This is my spot, man. You saw me here, you can go farm somewhere else. Damn. This is a PvP field. 
<laughs> million billion things I'd rather fucking do than to be fucking with you. Yeah. I know, he was a low level character. <laughs> it's kind of mean, but still. He's seen me here. I've seen that drop rates girl on him too. I feel kind of bad, but you know, he saw me here. He should have just went to the next server, then dropped his drop rates girl on. Of course, he could bring his buddies over and I could get my ass kicked here, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's face this way, just in case. Alright. I don't want that. I'll keep that just for the hell of it. Just for the hall of it, you know? I don't want it. I don't want it. Four terrible stats. <laughs> I think you can craft those into things. I don't remember how. We got our first four, so now we can start crafting that. Four, four. Oh, yes. I was hoping it wouldn't break. So now we got our five, four. And then we'll make that into a five, four, four. Four, probably. Ah, we probably won't bring health recovery up. Really doesn't do a whole lot. But we'll bring it up to a 544. Giggity giggity, giggity goo. Looks like we're gonna have to kill this guy. <laughs> I don't like killing people, man. You just gotta stay out of my area. That's all. <sighs> That's gonna bring mathematics over. <laughs> I should really face that teleporter now. Now I've pissed off the CN tribe and mathematics. All I gotta do is tell in the tribe chat that I'm getting my ass kicked over in the gargoyles and they're gonna come over with a bunch of high level players and they're gonna kick my motherfucking ass. But hey, thanks for gathering up that pack for me, bitch. I don't like mathematics tribe right now. Alright, let's drop that. For all we know, that could have been enemies ult. We don't know that. <laughs> All right, let's finish this one off. Dodge rate three and dodge rate four. Move that over here. We'll start on the next one. Uh, physical skill, physical skill, tech success rate. Uh, physical skill, tech success rate, drop rate. Mm. That one's our next good one. And that one, let's drop that one.
grab some more. Ah, we forgot to do a little trance skill and see what it if it one shots him. <laughs> We're just going to grab all of these and then stop. I have a feeling someone might be here. I got my PvP skill up. Yeah, we're good. I'm going to clear this pack right here. We don't need that. We can burn that. Uh, nasty. That one's it, right? Yeah. All right, now we got our first five. Now we can drop all this up. Four, three, and four. And now we got another one. This one, we're just going to go straight for like fucking seventh PSA. If it makes it, it makes it. If not, whatever. <sighs> I need a mushroom. There we go. All right, let's go some more. Got six finished pieces. It's not bad so far. Some nice ones in there. And we keep forgetting to use that trend skill. Definitely worth a divine. Get rid of the shitty one real quick. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Don't want that. Don't want those. 
don't want that, don't want that, don't want that. Physical skill attack. Five. I don't know why I'm dropping on this. I was hoping to get physical skill attack on it, but it's not working. <laughs> We're just going to go on this one right there. Defense against magic, physical skill attack. That's good enough to craft on. And physical skill attack, attack success rate. We'll probably try on that one for a seven. Or we'll try for a six, PSA, five. Or no, we're probably just going to try for a seven. It's not really worth it without defense against the magic, unless it gets to like a seven. Alright, let's start wrapping these guys up. Just about to fill up on the blue orbs too. Huh. That's always nice. I gotta give him that little point left. I might wait till the next level and bring myself up two points. <laughs> That's not a good sign. That little bit of loot means I don't have a drop scroll on. That sucked. Not even gonna look at him. <sighs> if that gets physical skill attack on it, it'll be worth it, but only if it gets physical skill attack on it, so I might keep it just for the hell of it. <sighs> and it broke. Shouldn't have wasted those Seth gems, man. That's a weird feeling that it might work. <laughs> Another stack of wood and metal are going to come soon. Those are the cheapest, shittiest ones, though. Ugh. <sighs> yeah. yeah. I'm just going to keep gathering here. We don't really have anything yet. Hasn't spawned yet. The guys up there should be spawning right about now. We'll wrap around here and grab them. Just need a whole lot of divines for these and for these. Might start divining these first because they all have at least some stats on them. These are all kind of shitty stats. And starting to lag a little bit, so let's kill this.
There we go. All right. Don't need those. Got another stack of these. That's always good. I don't want that. Defense against magic. Drop right now. Nah. I'm not even going to bother with that one anymore. Alright, let's pop a bunch of Cephs into this one. Physical skill attack 5. Shit. Okay, I made it to 6. That's good. Then we'll do 6-5. Almost there. I'll we'll finish off another piece. Alright. I always love getting here right as they all spawn. It just means you have perfect timing. <laughs> Let's kill this. Okay, now I don't want it. Finish this one off. Make it a 6-5. Drag it over here, because it is finished. Uh, we don't need that. Don't want that. Physical skull attack, attack, success rate. I was really hoping for physical skill attack to be touched there, but it did not, so we're going to drop that. I don't even know why we're bothering with this piece here, but we're just going to work it all the way up to 7. If it works, then Cole will make the attack success rate 4, 7, 4 will sell. And if it doesn't, then we'll get our money back for the Ceph choice burn by uh, getting the shards. It's already plus 5, past its first hurdle. Just needs to pass two more hurdles. Six and seven. Highly doubt it's going to make it. <laughs> Especially at a G10, the odds of that hitting seven is like almost like a G11 hitting eight. It's not going to make it. <coughs> but I've made plus nines with eight BTs. Blue tears. So, never know. <laughs> like literally there was a point, well, there was one plus nine I made where I just had a plus one in my inventory that I bought from someone for two mil. I was like, I feel like gambling. I had eight blue tears on me and like five mil. And I'm like, all right, fuck it. <laughs> Just bought the plus eight and, or plus one and then uh, upgraded to plus nine right there, right next to his booth. I was like, oh, well, fuck. <laughs> that was insane profit. That's cool. All right. And it wasn't like I was broke or new at the time. It was just that I happened to only have that much because I spent all my money on TC to stop TC Mart. I had a few blue tears on me and I just felt like gambling what I had on me. 
and I happened to make a plus nine real quick. It was just, I love doing shit like that. You can't guarantee it anyway, and you can't look forward to it, because it's not going to happen. It may never happen. <laughs> We're already up to our, almost our third stack of yellows. Orbs. Eight more yellow orbs. We'll be working on our third, fourth stack. Oof. Physical skill of dexterity. Ah, oh, that's just pretty looking. Alright. feel like it. And that's a divine away from awesome, possibly. Because right there, that's if it gets physical attack, it's a perfect necklace. Physical skull attack, attack success rate, defense against magic. Perfect. Did I just make that? Yeah, I did just make that. Duh. Alright. Let's bring this up to a 6. Let's bring it up to a 7. And it broke. And then we're just going to set the shit out of this one. bring this right up here now we got a whole lot of shit we need to divine and then upgrade to craft more of these but so far we're up to seven finished pieces that's not bad for this run all of these are sellable and all we're doing here is we're doing the safe point of crafting uh, we're just crafting it all things to save point. And at any point, people can buy these and just reforge them the rest of the way. But they've already got the good stats on them. Up to the save point, you know. You're not risking much, if anything. Except for, like, when I'm going to 6.5s and 5.4s. Yeah, technically, I'm I could be breaking them. But I'm getting lucky here, and I'm not breaking them as much. Nice, we got our fourth stack going. Don't need that. Physical skull attack, defense against magic. Uh, I guess I'm crafting that one too. <laughs> ooh, 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 that looks really cool. I'll keep that one. And I don't need that one. Alright, so we're just going to keep saving up these Ceph choice because we want to Ceph that bracelet first. That's another good crafter right there. We'll bring up, hopefully, to a 5-4. <sighs> uh, when it has more than three stats, I like to... Uh, when it has three or four stats, good stats on it, uh, I like to bring Ceph gems. And then step choice it. Uh, if it's only got two, I'm probably just going to step choice it. Try straight for five. If it works, then I go for a five four. And here's the chance. And it broke. Didn't waste anything. It was just a quick little try. Uh, the five Seth choice gems that I used, I got five shards for, so I got my money back. The shards are worth 500000 each.
But if it would have made it, it would have definitely been an easy 5-4. I could have stacked it right here, made a an eighth one. Way too many. Let's grab it. It's trying to get laggy. Always good to see two divines straight away. Nice crafter right there. Physical skill attack, drop rate, attack success rate. Would have been nice if we got magical attack, but we might still get that up. To like a, we'll see if we get a five physical skill attack, and then we'll do five four four. That's not going to really sell. About the physical attack. <sighs> yeah, let's drop that bitch. It's not going to make it anyway. Well, let's break it. We're going to get a bunch of step choice gems. We might as well try it for physical skill attack like 7. And if it makes it, we'll go 7-5. Seven, or 7-4-4. Seven, four, four, and that'll definitely sell. And if it doesn't make it, we won't waste anything. We're just going to drop step choice on it anyway. Alright, what do we got here? Crap. We're not gonna be crap. We're gonna probably stop here in a minute, and then we'll just uh, grab our Sep Choice bags and finish off our crafting here. We definitely have enough for a few Sep Choice bags. Wish we had a little bit more divines here. We might go back in town and see if we can buy someone's bag of divines. A lot of times somebody has a bag of divines for like 9 mil in town. We can finish all these off in one bag. So we're just going to head straight back for the crystal. While we're headed there, we're going to craft this. What was that? Defense, defense against magic dodge. I guess we'll craft that one. G8, right? Yeah, that's not going to make shit. But if it makes a 444, then awesome. I'm not even going to try for 5. Not with G8. G8 is going to fail. <laughs> We're headed right over there to that crystal. I'm going to take a little bit of damage on the way. Ooh, we got another leather stack. Always nice. We were hoping for a physical skill attack there, but I didn't get it. grab that yellow orb just in case that's the one yellow orb we need for one last green orb for one last pouch you never know if we're short one we're gonna be pissed all right so we're gonna go this guy and then we're gonna go to tainted land and i need two seconds be right back
All right, sorry about that. I'm gonna go to Tainted. We're at Tainted. We're gonna grab some more orbs. We're gonna just exchange all of our orbs for green ones. There we go. And do the blue ones. All right, and now for the red ones. Cool. All right. Nice, we got 46. We get three pouches. Very nice. And then we'll go straight for the warehouse. Oh yeah, wait. <laughs> we might have to go here first. Not Yuba. Although we are looking for divine gems, and there was a shop labeled divine gems. We'll grab that in a second when we start crafting. Alright, let's just drop, find an empty spot. I think 11's empty. Yeah, empty ish. Let's grab these four, this one, this one, and these two. Those are all finished. I believe that's everything we need right now. And finish breaking these just for the hell of it. Since we have them in our inventory. Uh, don't want that. Physical skill attack defense against magic. We might as well craft it. Defense against magic dodger. Yeah, craft that. And then these are all for divining. Let's we'll see what we can do. Uh, let's see, this guy sells divines. I'm sure it's cheap. That's not cheap at all. That's cheap. And I'll fill in the gambling mood. Plus those aren't cheap enough. Alright. Let's go attack attack success rate. It's gonna keep dropping them in until it's all gone. Garbage. This one's good either way. That's gonna stay that good. Uh, this one's terrible. Defense against magic, drop rate, dodge rate. Mm. Oh. Maybe I'll break it with drop. See what happens. One. Ooh, we did get something. We got physical skill attack. Oh, that's exactly what we wanted. Nice. All right. Physical attack. Attack accessory. Magic attack. Yeah, I'm not gonna keep that shit. All right, magical skill attack. Magic attack. Magic attack. Not gonna bother. Ma defense against magic, physical skill attack, magic attack. Ooh. Ooh, fuck you. Well, we'll break it physical skill attack wise. gonna bother I don't have any sorcery or divine for that we're gonna break the physical skill attack on that 
We'll work with that one. Magical attack, magic skull attack, drop rate. That might be good. If it works. Magic attack, attack success rate. Terrible. I'm not going to work with it. Fuck that. Physical skull. Ooh, that might be good. That might be good. Magic attack. Ooh. Worthless. Uh, without defense against magic, we might just try for physical skull attack 7. It won't work, but never know. <sighs> Looks like everything has been statted. Except for all this crap. Magic attack, attack success rate, terrible. Dodge rate, defense against magic, terrible. Defense against magic, dodge rate, again, terrible. It doesn't matter, we're going to break these and see if we can get some super defense against magic or... We're going to get a bunch of shards from it. That one will strive for a dodge ring. One, two. Yeah, fuck that one. Let's keep it. Alright. <sighs> Drop some stuff for good luck. Alright. Our first subject is going to be this one here. We're going to work right up to physical skill attack. See if it gets to 7. It's not going to make it. I know that. It's going to break right about now. Yep. Alright. This one is physical attack, physical skill attack, attack success rate. Nice. This one's a good one. Let's try to get physical skill attack 6. And then 6... Well, five. Five, four, four. And it broke. Whatever. Alright, this one here. Attack success rate, physical skill attack, drop rate. This is one of those. I'm just going to go straight for physical skill attack. And it broke. Doesn't matter. And this one's not bad. We're going to try for a 5 magical skill attack if it works. 5, 4, 4. And it broke. Huh. <laughs> Just likes to break. It doesn't matter. Alright, this one here. Physical skill attack, attack skill strike. We're going to try for physical skill attack and see if that can go up to a level 7. Otherwise, it's not really worth it because it doesn't have physical attack on it. It's not going to make it to 7, but never know. It's probably going to break right here. Yep. Alright, drop rate. We're just going to blindly hit drop rate here. Don't ask me why. I feel like it might get up to an 8. <laughs> 5. 6. Seven, eight. Ah, oh, would have been nice. <laughs> All right, let's try for another one. Uh, dodge, defense against magic, absolutely terrible. Let's uh, let's go for damn ring. Oh no, I need defense against magic. Maybe I'll buy this for fifty mil. Oops, did I just get the wrong one? Yes, I did. Four. Five. Six. And it broke. Alright, next one. No, that's terrible too. We'll go straight for... Who gives a shit? Magic attack, I guess.
Didn't work. Alright, this one, same thing. Mag defense against magic, terrible ring. We're just gonna break it. It happens to make seven, sweet. It's actually sellable out of seven. Uh, if it doesn't, it doesn't really matter too much. As we're getting our money back, anyway. Uh, same with that one. Terrible. Seven dodge might be worth it. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. We're here to break it. Keep breaking them, man. Physical skill attack. Any crappy ones that just go straight for a break. Uh, if we happen to get a seven, sweet. If not, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, physical skill attack. Texas straight defense against magic. That's a nice one. If I can get to a decent level with this, if I can just get a five. Come on, baby. Give me a five. Fuck. I didn't give me a five at all. This probably won't even give me a five. Nope. I'm going to try for physical skill attack 5 here. And then we'll make another one, hopefully. Come on, don't break. Thank you. And... 5, 4... Four. And of course, we're getting all our money back in Ceph shards anyway, so this isn't costing us any. It just costs us time to gather all this shit. Uh, this one's another one of those drop rate the rings. Doesn't have defense on it, so there's no reason to actually store it. But if it makes seven drop rate, then it's worth it. If not, it's still worth it because we're breaking it, getting our Ceph shards. Nope. Defense, defense against magic. That's a nice one. If we can get one of these to five. I always like to start with defense against magic. Everybody seems to have the most problem with defense against magic. So we're going to defense against magic to five. And defense against regular to four. And it sells. Good, good, good. We got another one. This one's a really nice one. Hopefully we get 1-5. It's not going to make it. It's a G8. Uh, we might try for 4-4-4. Four, four, four. I don't even know if it's going to make a single 4. G8s like to break. This may break it right here. Yep. Physical skill attack defense against magic. Another one that's going to break going to 5. Might even break going to 4. Alright, so we got two finished pieces there out of all that. Not the great ones either. We've got one 5-4-4, four, four, uh, and then we got a 5-4. Well, let's very quickly show what I made. This we can sell for 29 million. We can sell for 31 million too, but 29 seems to be right right now. These we can sell for 500,000. These we'll sell for 300,000. Just because we don't really want to sell them, and if they s if they buy them, whatever. Uh, all right, this one here is a six five. Physical skill, 
So uh, we'll probably call that one. I'm trying to remember my prices here. 80 million. 544. Four. Probably call that one. Should definitely sell for 30. It should sell for 40 mil, but. Uh, again, a 544. Four. 30 mil. Uh, 544 four bring. We'll pop, try for 40 mil. We might not get these prices. We're going to just start them off at these prices and move them our way down. Uh, they are good price. They're a decent price. Like, this is a decent price. 6.5. Uh, Six five five five. Put this one up for yeah. I just realized what this one is. Let's bring this one out because that one's actually a perfect. It's a five four four four. Yeah. We'll ask a little higher price for these at first. We'll move our way down, but because there are four perfect stats, all they got to do now is reforge it. That's a 544. Four. 30 mil again. And a 54. Move that for 29 mil. Alright. <sighs> for these, we'll do for 200 each. Same with these. Uh, for this, we'll do 330 each. Same with this, 330. Uh, this. Back to that one, that one, this will f 500 each, rawhide sells for a bit more, alright, and if you look at this here, uh, let's say 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Yeah, this is 26 mil right here, but it's registering as 2.6. So you can just read that and say 26 mil. Uh, so just add that onto the total. It's not going to read properly here, but if somebody were to shop at your booth, it wouldn't cost them 2,600. It would cost them 26 mil. So 736 million plus 26, so 750 million. Not bad. Now, that requires these two to sell for the price, but there's no reason not to. It is harder to make the four stat. Uh, as soon as you get that, you can just reforge it all the way up to 6666. But, yeah. All right. See you all next time. Play Turf Battles. As soon as I find this button. No.